Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I'm kind of surprised I haven't received more uh, Eternity of Pain submissions for commentary reactions. But then again, I know some people who say they're waiting until it gets a little bit closer to infamous Iron Man, a.k.a. Iron Doom, being in the basic pool to have the motivation to go for him, specifically all of the Nexus Crystals for the tech class. And, you know, the longer you wait, the more guides come out. But, you know, it costs you what it costs you. In my case, uh, well over a thousand four hour crystals and um units and other things some of you definitely not that much we're starting with what a first crystal Groot awakened whatever null awakened obvious normal champion and then non hawkeye ronin awakened for the first time ronin over null you don't see that or say that every day and yet, that is what I believe I do declare that I would do. And I would be wrong. Apparently. Yep. I am. This is how you know I don't watch these beforehand. Because I am often saying things that the summoner does the opposite of. But that's kind of what makes it fun. At least for me. Alright, next one. Ooh. Nova, Annihilus, and a new Icarus. I think you gotta go with Icarus, as my Battle Realm bestie, Katie Candy, would say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, brand spanking new Icarus. Shiny suit, too. Two more. And back-to-back -back Icarus, there are a bunch of firsts in this Eternity of Pain exploration rewards opening. Back-to-back -back Icarus is, or, is one of many firsts. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hmm. Last one. Three straight Icarus. This is sponsored by Icarus. You cannot make that up. Yeah, Captain Sparkles makes the most sense there. Wow, what are the odds of that? I mean, there's only three champions. It's not like it's an Abyss Nexus. That's kind of a, a bizarrely fun video to commentate and talk about. You know? Like, I'm kind of intrigued. Look at that. Double Icarus, and it could have been triple Icarus. You just never know. You never, ever, ever know. He's got two Mystic Nexus. Alright, Yuri. First Mystic gives us... Symbiote Supreme Awakening. I just took this champion to rank three thanks to, well, the data I had from how valuable he was in Battlegrounds, this meta. But also just like general matchups. I still think in terms of champions, I like to just bring into fights. I don't like him. Maybe that would help if my Mystic Dispersion was up. It's only still up in Battlegrounds mastery setups. And the last one is another man thing sighting. No Doom, no Black Widow, Clairvoyant, no Magical Moose, Rentra. Um, I would say overall that's got to be fairly disappointing RNG for those two. Uh, myth, mystic Nexus. I almost said Mythic Nexus, but that is not what this is. It's a Mystic Nexus. Okay. Huh. Sasquatch, 20 more sigs. Ugh. Disappointing Mystic. Anything else? Do we have an Abyss hanging around, maybe? No? Nope. Sure don't. Oh, but here's the big one. The first ever rank 5 6 star for this account. Maybe you're looking for Cosmic? I always like to pretend this is me. And science room, science again. Oh. 
That would have gone to Black Widow Clairvoyant, but I gotta be honest, I've had so much fun with Rank 5 Omega Red that I, um, I prefer what I got over what Yuri got. Well, Triple Icarus, back to back to back. This was fun to commentate, though. How, how would you have reacted to this if you watched this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.